Hello everyone, this uh, video is on software version 4.3 for the AR4 Mark II robot. In the uh, last update, I added some basic G-code functionality and I've made some improvements to that, so that's what I want to go over here in this video. So for an example, I've uh, downloaded this image I found online of a lion that I'm going to use for an example. Um, this is just a JPEG and I have it opened in Inkscape. So the first thing I need to do is uh, resize it. So we'll change uh, up here, we'll change from pixels to millimeters and then we'll uh, lock the ratio. And I, I'm gonna do, uh, for the width, I'm gonna do 150 millimeters and resize it. And then um, the next thing I'm gonna do is up here on um, path, I'm gonna click on trace bitmap and that will uh, open up the uh, trace bitmap. I haven't played with the settings too much. I've just left them at their default settings and uh, if I click on the picture and hit apply, it uh, should trace the uh, it should trace the image. And then if we come here and click on the node tool, um, it should show you all of the nodes that it created around the perimeter of the image um, after the trace. So now I should be able to uh, uh, save it as an SVG file. Um, so I'm just going to save that to my desktop. Now, um, after I've made that uh, SVG file, I'm going to uh, open up my web browser and I'm using this uh, web-based uh, G-code creator called JS Cut. I'm sure you could probably use, you know, multiple different uh, G-code generators, but this is the one I've been playing with. Um, so I'm going to open SVG, I'm going to click local, and I'll go find the uh, Lion SVG on my desktop. And um, so I'm going to change the... Uh, units to millimeters and the max cut depth I've just been doing one millimeter I'm going to change the units here for the tool to millimeters uh, for the diameter I've also just been using one millimeter um, again pass depth of one millimeter and then um, the speeds I've just been leaving them where they're at uh, for now at least for for what I've been doing with drawing on a uh, dry erase uh, a dry erase uh, pad and then um, for the material, millimeters, thickness, again, since I'm just drawing on it, I just did one millimeter. Um, for the clearance, I've been doing 20 millimeters. And then um, G-code units, millimeters. And then I've been clicking this button for return to zero at end. So um, that should be, those are most of the settings I've been using, at least just for, for this example. Um, and we can click on create operation. And you can choose either engrave and uh, either engrave or outside. Um, you can see when you click outside it, it traces the outside of the SVG image. And then um, if you hit generate, it, uh, you can see it turns to yellow and it generates a G-code file. So once that G-code file has been generated, you can click save G-code. And then I'll just save that um, to my desktop as uh, lion.gcode and then click local file and it will uh, save that to my desktop. So now that we have that G-code file created, we can open up the uh, AR4 software and go to the G-code tab. So if you recall from the last video when I first released the uh, Mark II, um, there was a little bit more basic functionality here and it was a little bit slow. Um, these G-code files are pretty big. There's thousands of little tiny moves for each, uh, for each arc and curve. I think this lion file is over 5,900 um, lines of code in that G code file. Um, so what you'll need to do is insert a micro SD card in the Teensy 4.1 board, as you can see here. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to, I've created the means to convert and upload um, each G code file to the SD card, and then we can play it directly from the SD card um, so that there's no latency between you know, sending all the moves back and forth, just the, the files on the on the uh, SD card, and it can play it directly, and it can play it pretty quick. Um, so if we click Read Files from SD, it'll access the SD card on the TNC and display here what files that I have on there, and you can see I've got a couple of, of files on that card already. And then um, what we'll want to do is uh, jog the robot to a start position. This will just be, you know, above the origin of where the, uh, the corner of the... Uh, lion picture will be. So I've jogged the robot to a, 
uh, position above the board there and clicked uh, set start position and then I've put in an offset this is um, a start offset so this is um, 20 millimeters above this position and I can click um, move to a start offset and move the robot to the position you see here on the screen and then um, I can go ahead and load the g-code program so I'm going to click load go to my desktop find the uh, lion g-code program and open that and it's going to open up the g-code program and then we can give it a file name I'm just going to call it lion again and we will hit convert uh, convert and upload to SD so that took a few minutes to upload and convert every single uh, line to a, a line of robot code but it's all uploaded to the SD card now um, we can now um, click uh, read files from SD and you can see now there's a, uh, a lion program on there and we can press the play G code file to uh, start that file running You can also um, play a G-code file directly from the uh, program command window. So, um, for example, you know, I'll create a new program. We'll call it test. Click OK. So now we have a new program called test. You know, I could, uh, you know, have some movements or, you know, whatever I'm doing here, you know, teach a couple positions or whatever. And then um, if we want to, you know, type in the name of the file and, and click play G-code, it'll put in a, a line. Um, you know to play that file the other thing if you uh, if you want you can just go to the uh, g-code tab and click read files from SD and then click on a program you know if I wanted to run this uh, punisher.txt I can click on that and I come back here and it's already um, it populates that window for me and I can um, click that button and it puts in a line of code to uh, to run that program so when you come up here and hit play it'll run through any code you have and when it comes to this uh, program it will you know run that g-code program that you uploaded um, which includes um, you know moving to this start position uh, offset uh, firstly and then running the g-code program based off of this position that was one thing I didn't mention earlier is that you have to set a start position um, the g-code file um, has just the basic movements from an origin of zero zero on the XY so all of those movements um, for that entire g-code file are based off of this as your start position. So another thing that I've added with software version 4.3 is a, a soft stop or an e-stop uh, button to the uh, to the robot enclosure. So I've published another uh, version of the manual version 1.2. So if we look at the bill of materials and then come down to the electronics components you can see at the bottom I have added a um, right here I've added a PBS 110 push button switch um, from uh, the release of this video forward all the kits that I sell on the website will have this uh, push button in the kits um, and this is just your standard PBS 110 push button they're real common you can get them on Amazon or eBay for for almost nothing um, they're re really common so if you've already uh, you know, started building your AR4 and you need to get this push button, it's pretty easy to get. Um, 
so if we scroll down to uh, page 229 of the manual um, you can see here I've added a couple steps for this push button you basically just wire the red wire to terminal 39 and the black wire to the uh, unused ground terminal here and then install the push button in the uh, 3d print uh, lid file and I've updated the 3d print files to have the uh, the hole in it um, and the recess for this uh, switch to mount into it um, and then uh, yeah, just put the lid on just like before. And then on page 352 of the manual where I've got the schematics for the uh, for the robot, um, you can see I've added the switch here um, to the schematic. Um, so if you, uh, you know, if you have your robot running and let's say, for example, I'm running the robot home and then I hit the, uh, I hit the soft stop or the e-stop button on the controller, you can see it'll say, um, e stop button was pressed and the robot stops right there and then I can hit play and the uh, robot will continue on and go back it can continue you know going to the home position and this also works uh, in the uh, this also works on the G, G code tab um, where if you're running a G code program you can use the button to stop any G code program from running so that's all of the updates I have right now for software version 4.3 if you have any questions or if you find any issues or bugs in the software, please uh, email me at info at uh, Thanks for watching. Bye.